In this video I am going to be demonstrating my MyaFit system which allows you to take your mesh clothing um, that you have made to fit either the default avatar or one of the five standard sizes and you can take your, that mesh clothing and if you made the mesh clothing fit the default avatar you can use MyaFit to re resize the mesh clothing to fit the five standard sizes um, in Second Life or if you made your mesh clothing originally to fit one of the five standard sizes you can use the mesh clothing MyaFit to resize to the other four sizes of the standard sizes but you can also have it resize your mesh clothing to fit the default avatars um, which are is what you need to do in order to create fitted mesh uh, fitted mesh clothing is made to fit the default avatar in Second Life, uh, the female default female avatar and the default male avatar for male for male clothes. Okay, so first, this is first you want to have your your mesh clothing already open in your scene, and this particular mesh clothing is not rigged. You can use mesh clothing that is already rigged. Um, but I'm going to be doing another video showing how to use that because there's a few more steps that you have to do. Um, so this is for non-rigged. Okay, this mesh dress is 2,524 vertices. Um, you may find that if you're using mesh clothing that has a lot more vertices uh, than, than, than this, um, it may take longer to create the wrap, which is what we're going to do next. Well, but we first need to import MyaFit into the scene. So let's import MyaFit into the scene. And when you buy MyaFit, you actually get four files. You get MyaFit Female, MyaFit Male, MyaFit Female 10X, and MyaFit Male 10X. The differences are obviously one's for female, one's for male, um, for the males and females. MyaFit Female is, the avatar is a normal size avatar, the same size avatar as in Second Life. Same with the MyaFit Male. The MyaFit Female 10X is, um, is the avatar is 10 times larger. Same with the MyaFit Male, it's 10 times larger. And the reason they're larger is is sometimes if the vertices are too close together when you go to resize to the different sizes um, the vertices can shoot out some vertices will go kind of go haywire and shoot out away from the avatar at strange angles um, and you know like several inches or feet I mean they go crazy sometimes that's because the vertices are when they get too close together um, when you're resizing can kind of go a little haywire and by making the avatar 10 times larger you're making the vertices 10 times farther apart and so therefore the chances of that happening are basically almost zero um, and it also the the adjustment settings that you have um, become less they're not as touchy because everything's 10 times farther apart so you can make finer adjustments when you're making the, um, the size changes so we're just going to do the standard which is most of the time the standard MyaFit female and standard size male are probably going to be work just fine. So let's do MyaFit female and we've imported. Now what you have is you have an on and off and you have these are the different sizes and you have these different sliders controllers. So you just go into your move tool and you slide it to the on position and you'll notice that the avatar changes shape but the clothes have not changed shape we haven't set it up, we haven't finished setting it up yet. And when the sliders are all in the off position, this is the default avatar. Um, and my mesh dress I made to fit the default avatar. If you had made your mesh clothing to fit, say, the small, you would put this in the small, I mean the small in the on position. And then you would do what we're going to do next. Okay, but this is the default fits the default avatar. First you click your mesh um, 
mesh clothing first, hold down the shift key, select the avatar, come over here and it, put it in your animation, come over to Diddy Form, newer versions of Maya, um, I think they split this into two different um, two different menus at the top. I think it's Create Deformer, I think is the, is the for the, the newer versions. But this one it's just Deform. And then you come down here to Create Wrap. In newer versions it's just called Wrap. And um, so you click on the options. And these are the options I use. You know, weight threshold 0, max distance is set, max distance of 12.6, that's how far away from the avatar. Um, Will the wrap have influence? This can be changed later if you want to play around with it. Influence types, points, and faces. I happen to like faces better. I seem to have better luck with faces than with the points, so I always start off with faces. And hit create. Now this is the point where I was telling you about, depending on how many vertices are in your mesh clothing, may take longer for the initial wrap to be created. I've had mesh clothing take as long as two, three, five minutes for for Maya to be able to calculate the wrap. Um, so wait for a while. I might wait as many as 10 minutes for the, for the initial wrap to be created if you have a lot of vertices. Um, if you have separate pieces of mesh clothing that are separate objects and it's taking too long, what you can then do is set, click each mesh clothing one at a time, create the wrap, click, select the next mesh piece of clothing, Just click, the, hold down shift key, hold the avatar, and create the next wrap. You know, that's one way. And another way is to cut up your mesh into smaller pieces, but like I said, I'm going to do another video to show you how to do that. Okay, so we have our wrap created. And let's do large first. Move it to the on position, and as you notice, it's resized the mesh clothing. And it actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't look half bad. But let's go in here to wireframe unshaded. And it doesn't look bad. It looks a little, it doesn't look quite as smooth as I would like it to be. So what you want to do next, select the avatar, and in the channel box, this is the channel box, you have three settings you can play with here, and then under wrap, because this is the wrap that we created, you have these three settings here. Most of the time, I don't mess around with drop off. Um, I usually just mess around with smoothness and the envelope size. So let's try 0 .03 and hit enter. And there we go. Much better. Okay, you get a little bit more poke through. So what I'm going to do is go point, um, one, I mean, point, one point, let's try two. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So next what we would do is we would duplicate, edit, duplicate, and let's move it out of the way. And let's rename it. Well, I'm going to rename it large. But Maya's deciding it's going to take a, a second to think about it. <laughs> okay, large. Okay. And, you know, it does have a little bit of poke through in the shoulder, but that would be easily fixed, you know, manually. You get to simply hide the, the original dress move this back over here and adjust the, uh, the couple of vertices. Okay, so let's do the next size. Put the off position. Put that to the on position. And, wow, that looks really good. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to hit the control, hold the control key down and hit the D key to duplicate it. 
ahead and let's name this medium. And one thing you got to remember is if you're doing if you're multiple wraps because you you've done you had to do these instead of one single wrap multiple wraps, you would have um, in here you would have wrap one, wrap two, wrap three, wrap four, and you would just want to make sure that all the wraps have the same numbers um, inputted on them, so that all the wraps are being in, are being influenced exactly the same. I, you only have to do these once, but you would just have to make sure the wraps. Okay, and if you had done it where you had created your mesh to fit the sm say the small shape originally, as soon as you moved, created the wrap of this over to here, it would have reshaped your mesh to fit the default avatar shape. And you would do the same thing with playing with the adjustments and making the duplicate. Okay. Now let's go into texture cause, and let's turn off wireframe unshaded. Well, this one looks pretty good. This one, the texture looks a bit distorted. So what you want to do, set, set, select the um, your mesh dress, go into Windows, UV Texture Editor, and you want to select all the UVs. Come up here to Polygons, Relax, and click on the options. You want to have Pin UV Border, World Space selected, and I just have this set on 6. And then you click Apply. And you notice that's much smoother, and you can actually click it a bunch of times. I'm just click, 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 click. There we go. That looks good. So now I am going to close that, close that. And you can see it is much smoother. Now you'd want to do that um, for any size that you noticed that, um, that the UVs we're not happy with. And I would only do it on the duplicates. But that is how you resize your mesh clothing using MayaFit. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I forgot to tell you um, influence type. Influence type 2 is face. And if you switch this to influence type 1, that would be um, uh, the influence would be the, the point or the vertex of uh, the avatar. So you can try, you can try that. Um, I just I forgot to mention to you what that actually did, and um, so that's it. I hope um, this has helped uh, you understand how MayaFit works, and if you decide to buy MayaFit, um, that it will help you get up up and running much faster. So thank you very much, and happy modeling.